what's up it is the chinchilla notebook here and welcome back to another one of my videos today's video is going to be on something that i'm actually really excited about and i'm sure that you guys aren't expecting because i literally came up with this idea this morning so for those of you who don't know we have two levels to our house and then we have a downstairs that's not connected at all to the top so Currently, we all live in the top and the downstairs is now empty because my brother that used to live down there just moved out. So now there's like this whole empty space down there and I had the idea to move Merlin in his cage down there because there's a there's a kitchen like dining area that would be perfect to put Merlin in and now that I moved my like my keyboard and my workout like area and everything down there I spent a lot more hours down there than I used to so I definitely think that it would be a better idea to move Merlin to his own space and just like have everything just be so much bigger and better for him because currently he lives in the laundry and it gets really crowded in here it gets really messy and it's hard to clean and keep everything organized so I think that moving him down there is probably going to be the best move so yeah pretty much Merlin's just going to get a whole new living situation I mean like where he's surrounded his cage is not going to change now the problem is that there is a set of stairs that when I first bought this cage I carried I carried this cage up half of it like just the top half with a friend and then had to carry the other part up too currently it's just me and my mom so hopefully we can take it down but pretty much i'm gonna have to take the cage apart and then move it down and it's gonna be an adventure to say the least yeah let's just jump right into it So as you guys can see, I've taken everything out and this is pretty much all of Merlin's supplies. I never realized how much he really has until I see it all together, but yeah, he's got a lot of baggage. I decided I'm just going to wait until I take the whole cage down before I mess with that because I don't even know where I'm going to put it yet. But I'm just going to take everything out of his cage and then I think I'm going to block him off on the bottom and then try to like take off the top. I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. So by the looks of it, I literally just pulled it up and it came out. So this is probably not going to be as hard as I thought. But yeah, so I'm just going to unscrew the cage and then, well, hold up. This isn't as easy anymore. Alright guys, so I don't have a carrier or a place I could put him, so I put him in here and he's not very happy, but I'm going to be bringing the cage down as fast as I can, so for now he's just going to be in here, but yeah, so we're just going to start moving this down. guys so I have brought the cage down and I'm just going to put this um, tile so that I can put them in the bottom while I arrange the rest of the cage. This is hard to like hold them right. Okay. Alright. Oh no. I just saw this. <laughs> I accidentally trapped this toy. Alright so we're just going to put this in here, excuse my hair if you can see it, excuse it, it's like really hot, 
I mean, it's not really hot, but I've been like running up and down. So it's kind of getting a little bit hot now. I just put my hair up, so yeah. going to put the cage kind of back together and just put everything back where it belongs but yeah so I don't know if Merlin's going to get like stressed out from being down here oh, it's a lot of water. Okay. I think I need to go buy a new water bottle because this one's been having issues lately I don't know um but yeah so I'm excited to be giving Merlin this like new little area down here and it's gonna be a lot more peaceful because in the daytime when he tries to sleep, my family is so loud. So it's definitely gonna be more peaceful for him. This is what the rest of everything looks like. And I've got a lot of stuff. I need to wash those. But what's nice is that down here, there's a washer and dryer in this closet. So literally like Merlin has his own stuff going on here. And then like there's a vacuum that I could easily vacuum the tile with. And there's like wipes and yeah so this all this stuff I might put in there or because I have this like whole kitchen with a bunch of cabinets like I could easily store Merlin's stuff up there or like in here so he's literally I just let him up here what do you think ow guys so I just finished putting everything together and everything away so I'm ready to show you Merlin's new living situation so pretty much I'm just gonna show you the area first this is like I said our basement and there's no connection from the top to the bottom there's just a door and then you have to walk up the stairs so this is pretty much ever since my brother moved out like I said I've turned this whole downstairs into my own area so there is just where I'm gonna be editing and I have my keyboard and that currently there but this is the living room and then that's, like I said, the washer and dryer. And then when Roland's laundry piles up, I just put it in that basket and then I wash it and dry it and it's super easy. And then here is the area. And I really like the tile because it's super easy to clean. I just literally have to slide the cage over and then vacuum everything. It's just so much space. And it's just, I don't know, like if I need to bring in natural lighting, like it comes through there, like the lights are on right now, but um, you know, if I need to, I'll leave a light open here during the daytime. But there's plenty of natural lighting. I know it doesn't seem like it, but there actually is. So anyway, this is where Merlin's located. His cage is pretty much the same. Didn't really change anything about it. Um, I only left a tile up there that I used to block off pretty frequently. And then, of course, that because he does pee through those bars. And I don't want to stain the tile. So that's how his cage looks. And then over here is just his... Um, his fleece, his toys, extra fleece, his pellets. I just decided to keep that there and Because obviously I feed him quite regularly, so that's important And then over here is just a trash can and then I kind of put his stuff all over the kitchen So let me show you that first off here is where I'm gonna start to keep my camera gear It's just in here because I'm gonna edit down here, too I have like a separate computer that I'm gonna edit with and then up in this drawer is just the Clorox wipes that I used to clean like the tile or around and then garbage bags for the garbage and then in this I have his hay or not his hay his dust up here and then this little thing full of like his treats in here and then some extra fleece liners if I need them his pellets and his hay 
And then underneath the sink is just the bin with the pee pads and then a bunch of other stuff in here and then that with a bunch of like binder clips. I'm actually really happy that I came down here. It's just feels so much cleaner and when I have playtime with him, I'm gonna find a way to block that off so he can have this entire space only for playtime and I think he's going to love it and he's not gonna get too hot because it's not carpet and it's okay if he pees or poops. So it's like, it's a it's a win-win for everybody. Anyway guys, I'm gonna end the video here but I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was our moving process. Um, it wasn't that stressful for him. He did have to sit trapped underneath a laundry basket for a while, but you know, he got over it. He bit me, but he got over it. Anyway, so this is pretty much it. Oh, and by the way, the reason I have it like not so close to the wall is because these things from the ledges scratched our wall upstairs and my mom didn't want to do that because this is freshly painted. And I think that it looks fine just kind of in the center. But yeah, that's pretty much it and I will see you in my next video.